Hi guys, hope you are doing great. Our today's question is longest substring without repeating characters. It's a medium level question and one of the top like uh, problems on lead code. So the question says, given a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. Substring uh, means we cannot have permutations and combinations of the characters in the given string. It has to be like um, a substring of the given string. Um, so for example, if you look at ABC, ABC, BB, the longest substring here is ABC, which does not have any repeating character, ABC being distinct. Um, B, 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 these, had, uh, these are all the same characters, so the maximum length of the desired substring is 1. Uh, and the last example is P, W, W, K, E, W. So W, K, E or K, E, W could be the longest substring here with three distinct characters. All right. So um, I think the problem statement is pretty simple. Let's think about the various approaches we can take. So um, these are the approaches that I have uh, witnessed till now in all the problems that I've done to solve any question on a string. Um, I request you pause the video, think for a moment about what the approach could be and come back. All right, so I think um, we have a very clear winner here because we are already stating this as an example for the sliding window. Now, if we look at the problem, um, one brute force solution could be for us to find all the substrings of this string, right? Uh, starting from A, so A, A, B, A, B, C, A, B, A, then the same way starting from B, 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 C, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, and so on. But that is definitely not an efficient solution. Um, so we need to think of something else. And sliding window is um, the answer. It, this question is basically a classic example of a sliding window approach uh, question, right? So um, what we would be doing is that we would be maintaining a window where we desire to maintain all the characters unique, right? And just as we find a character repeating while traversing the string, we start shrinking the window from the start. So we will maintain two endpoints of the window. One is the start and the other one is the end, right? And we, we keep them at the start of the string initially and move end one by one character of the string and keep uh, comparing it with whatever characters we have seen till now, just put them in a collection, for example, a hash set. And as long as we are getting unique characters, we keep moving the end. And just as we find a character that has already occurred in the past, we start moving our start pointer, right, to the point where we find this repeating character. Okay, so for example, in ABC, we keep moving our end till C. And just as we move it to A, we know that A has already arrived in the past. So we check our start. Now, in this case, start is already pointing to A. So we just move start and we also move the end to B. So now we will have B, C, A, which will be again distinct. So this is the whole idea and Along with that, we would also be maintaining a current length and a maximum length so that we derive our answer at the end. Okay, so I think uh, once we start implementing, it would get more clear, hopefully. So as we discussed, we would need a start. Okay, we would need an end. We would need a current length. And we would need a maximum length, which let's say we just call it minus one right now. Okay. Okay. So now we want to keep moving until our string is not exhausted, right? So we just say that till end is less than s dot length. Okay. Okay. 
Now let's just capture the character at hand. So let's say it's current. So current equals to s dot char. Sorry, caret n. Okay. Now, so um, as I was mentioning, we need a collection to capture what all characters we have been we have seen already. So let's just create a hash set of characters. Okay, equals to new hash set. Okay. So first we check here if our hash set we'll take the simpler one first so if the hash set does not contain um, the current character we simply have to add it to the hash set right so hash set, hash set dot add current okay um, and we move our end pointer by one okay so you just move it now otherwise it means that our window is having a character that's repeating now. So we want to, as we were discussing, we want to move our start until a position where the start character and the end character are the same. That is the repeating character is found, right? So what we'll do is that, um, first of all, let's just check for our current length because, okay, so, I think every time we do this, let's also calculate the n minus start. So what we're doing here is that every time we we move our end, we recalculate our current length of the substring. Uh, that's because uh, we might know not know that in the next iteration our um, character could be a repeating one and that's when we might want to like check on our maximum length capture till now and update it if the current length is more right so that is the reason we capture it every single time and then we just check that if it, this maximum length is less than the current length we just update it okay fine so now uh, now our hash set contains that right so what we'll do is that we just want to ensure that our start does not like go beyond end, right? So because we'll be like moving forward our start, right? In search of this particular character. So we just say that while my start is less than equal to end, right? And obviously we also don't want our end to go anywhere beyond the length of the string. So these are always safe checks to put in uh, whenever you're dealing with pointers. Um, you can just put these checks and be sure that the code is not going to misbehave. Right? So let's just do this. And now if my um, character um, sorry, character at start okay is not equal to my character at n. Okay, so what we are trying to do here is that let's say, for example, uh, in pwwkew, this example, right? So what we would do is our n and start would be at p. Um, we would move the n. P would not be in the hash set. We'll put it in the hash set over here. Calculate the current length, uh, which will come out as 1. Then move to W, which would not be there. Current length would come out as 2. And then we'll arrive at W, which will again like be a repeating character. So we'll come here, update the maximum length by 2, because PW, that's the length of the substring we've captured. And then what we do is that we start moving our start, okay, which is at P. So we move it until we find a W. Right. So we find our start is here and our end is here. So unless we are not finding the W, we are shrinking our window. And that is why we don't want these characters to be a part of the hash set anymore. Right. So what we do is we just remove them from the hash set because we don't want these characters to be 
in the hash set because these might occur in the substring later and we want to keep them afterwards, right? We don't want them to be like repeating characters. So that is the reason that we just do a remove, okay? Um, yeah, so you just do uh, this, okay? So whatever character is at start, we just remove it and then we just move forward the start, okay? End is still over there where it was, right? Otherwise, right, now we have found this character which was which is repeating in the substring, right? So what now we need to do is that we just so there is no point in removing this character from the hash set first and then adding it again because it will still be a part of our current substring. So what we do is we just let it stay in the hash set, simply move the start from that character to the next character, right? So that character is like gone from our substring and also move our end because we have processed this repetition, right? So we just basically do this, okay? and we break because we have basically fixed the repetition. We have uh, shrunk our window, resized it, and now the current window doesn't have anything repeating, right? So we just break this particular thing, right? And uh, yeah, okay. So um, now, once this is done, now, there are some things that we need to consider here uh, and keep in mind that it is possible that uh, there was one repeating character and after that, there was no repeating character. For example, if you see PWW and then let's say it would have been KEHM, right? So in that case, it would never enter this else and maximum length will never get updated. However, our current length will get updated it with every new character coming. So that's why to just handle those, we just check this after we exit the while loop to make sure we are not missing out on something like that, right? Another thing is that our, our string could basically contain all characters as distinct, right? It could be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. In that case, our, our um, hash set would always contain basically uh, distinct characters. It would never enter the else. And that's why our uh, this max length would be minus one. It will never get updated. So what we will do is that if this is equal to minus one, it means that it never got updated. And we will just assign it the length of the string. Okay, and yeah, and then we can safely return the maximum length. Okay, okay, let's see if this runs. Okay. So we get the desired answer. Let's try submitting it. Great. Okay. Um, so this solution works. And talking about the time and the space complexity. Um, so I think since we are like just traveling the string once, um, it would be O of N. Right, because we do have a little bit of a repetition, but it would be just a maximum of twice of n, not an n square. So uh, we can safely say that it's, it's like an O of 2 into n, which will be basically O of n, and it is pretty good. And um, the space complexity would be so if you see this hash set would contain uh, maximum. Uh, whatever is the size of the character set. So let's say if we say that uh, it would have only alphabets and numbers, then it could be maximum of 256. Um, otherwise, it would be the number of distinct characters in the string. So whatever is the minimum would be the space complexity of the solution. 
So um, I hope I have been able to explain this problem. Um, and if you've really liked this video, please like, share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care, guys.